Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk you through how to apply Jamboree Junior Wraps. So what you're going to need is a sheet of Junior Wraps, cuticle remover, tools, a new nail file is always good, cleanser, of course the mini heater, and little nails to apply them to. Right, the first thing I am going to do is apply cuticle remover quite liberally to the nail beds. Children's nails typically have a lot of invisible cuticle and it, this can be the main cause of the wraps coming off. And because Jamboree's cuticle remover is non-toxic, I feel perfectly happy using it on my son's nails. Now I'm going to use my metal cuticle spoon to very, very, very gently push back the cuticles. Let the cuticle remover work and you will see, there you go, you'll see the amount of invisible cuticle that there are on these nails really important you are incredibly gentle with these little nails when using the silver spoon. Okay once I've got rid of all of those cuticles I'm going to use dish soap to wash the nails. I've already got some nice warm water ready so fingers together please. I'm just going to drizzle a bit of washing up liquid on the nails and then using my own fingers just rub it in this just gets rid of all the grease and nasty that is built up on these nails over the last couple of weeks and then we're going to rinse them and make sure they are properly dry so I am now going to cleanse the nails using Jamboree Nail Prep Cleanser. I've got a good amount of cotton wool and I'm going to give each nail a really good thorough wipe. I am going to repeat this before I apply each individual wrap. And that is what I say the child's job is, to remind me to wipe the nail again before I put the wipe on. Now I don't do this when I do my own nails, but children's nails are greasier and dirtier. So I always find an extra wipe helps the wraps to stick. The next job is to pick the correct size wrap for the nail. Now, when I do children's nails, I always err on the side of caution and I will always pick a wrap that is a size, sometimes two sizes, smaller than the nail. So when I hold this up, you will see that there is a gap around either side of the nail. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to cut this wrap in half and get it on an orange stick ready to apply. So I've got the wrap ready on the orange stick. I am going to hold it in front of the mini heater for a second, see how it curls. Because it's a sparkle wrap, it needs a bit longer. And then I am going to very carefully place it on the child's nail before pushing it down with my own finger. If there are any bubbles that appear, I will get a purple pusher and I will push, use this to push round the edge, sealing the nail all the way round. Now this next bit is often the bit that is a little bit tricky on little nails, but this is the method that I find most effective. So the wrap is on. What I'm gonna do now is using some nail scissors which are curved away. Please keep your nail, your finger still. I am gonna cut off as much of the wrap as I can, leaving just a tiny little bit to be filed or sometimes which is best nail clippered off and what you do with the clippers is you get the very very edge of the nail at the same time as the wrap 
it's often easier to do this on younger children because it they, they don't like the feeling of their nails being filed but um, these nails are bitten when there's no wraps on them and it makes it tricky to do that with but because um, there's been wraps on for the last couple of weeks there's actually a bit of growth so using the nail clippers this time will be easier right I've done all the other nails and I'm ready to do the thumb now you may notice that the thumb nail bed is a flat nail bed so I'm just gonna tell you my tips for doing this so I'm gonna find the wrap that fits which is this one here and then what I will do is I will just cut the very bottom off the nail wrap to make it a flat along the bottom. So you can see I've just cut the bottom and then when I offer this up to the nail it is a much better fit with the nail bed. So I've done one hand and what I'm going to do now to finish this hand off is I'm just going to give each wrap another push. And see how cutting the bottom of that one has made that one fit nicely and then I am going to heat them up again now a really good way of making sure the child's hand doesn't get burnt I'm going to struggle to do this because I'm using one hand to hold um, the camera is if you put your own finger just there when heating up the wrap on the nail you will feel the heat coming from the heater and if it starts to hurt your hand then it will be hurting the child's hand so just put your finger there please excuse my wraps I've had these on for two weeks I need changing today so by just putting your finger or your thumb on the child's cuticle bed then you will feel the heat coming from the heater and they just need another heat and another push so there you go I've applied a full set of wraps to these little fingers so top tips wipe with the cleanser before every nail embrace the gap see the gap that I've got make sure you remove all cuticle and give those nails a really good clean before you apply the wraps what I'm going to make sure now is that these nails don't get um, submerged in water so no bathing a good few hours after applying the wraps it's always best to apply them at bedtime Sadly, this skin is quite dry because of, as you can see, the eczema. So once the wraps have taken, I'll be able to apply cream and the wraps won't go anywhere. I hope you've got some useful tips from this video. Any more information? Search Jammin' with Hannah on Facebook. Bye.